Uh, the, the purpose of this video is to just demonstrate some of the newer technologies that are available to address the problems created by refractive eye surgery, including uh, radiocavitotomy, PRK, uh, LASIK, and some of the other procedures uh, that are out there. Uh, this particular patient uh, had uh, uh, RK surgery done uh, in both eyes and followed by a number of years later uh, LASIK surgery. Uh, I'm going to show you how I'm addressing the situation on, the, on one eye only right now, on the right eye. And uh, we're fitting it with a scleral lens, it's wearing a scleral lens. And uh, you can see in my hand how it, what it looks like. Okay, in this particular lens we have it fenestrated. It's got uh, three little holes in it to allow moisture uh, and uh, to go uh, both ways, in and out, and from uh, 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 and inside outward. Okay, let me just clean the lens real well. There it is. <clears throat> solution in here. Okay. I'll get him down, down, down. Both eyes open. How's it feel? Good. Feels so fine. Mm -hmm. uh, this cornea uh, is uh, very, very ir so irregular that we can't help but uh, create a little area where the lens is touching, but. You can see, you should be able to see the incisions right through the lens. The lens looks pretty stable. Can you read the letters now? Mm -hmm. And how about here? I uh, still read them now. And how about now? Uh, yes. Okay. All right, now focus on the chart. That's the 2020 line. Or 2025 line. How about now? Can you read these? Okay, all right, so this patient with a scleral lens is able to see roughly 2025 to 2020, and without the contact lens, the visual acuity, best corrections around uh, um, 2050 or 2060 with a very thick spectacle prescription, creating distortions and uh, ghosting and uh, shadows. Are there any shadows now? Uh, no. Everything's nice and clear? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine.